Necromancy is a brand new combat style being released into RuneScape on August 7th, 2023. And I need to be ready for it, because not only do I want to buy all the new shiny gear and upgrades and test them out for all you nice people, but unlike any other skill release before this one, I want to race to be the best necromancer in the world. I know, I may not be the greatest skiller in the West, but necromancy is different. It's a combat style, and honestly, I feel like I missed out a little with the archaeology release. I should have been racing then, and it's time to make up for it now. I've been secretly preparing for this moment for the last three months, grinding hundreds of aura resets, making billions of GP, and putting in hours of theory crafting. And this video is the result of all that work. There are three main components to preparing for necromancy that I'm going to outline here. The first is the war chest. This one's pretty simple. I need tens of billions of gold, because when the competition gets close, and the first tier 95 necromancer gear starts coming into the game, there's going to be a bidding war. The second is the set of actual gear and items that Jagex has outlined as important for necromancy. These can mostly be found on the RuneScape website, but I'd rather go beyond and above that list and get some extra stuff too, that I may not need, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So we need to go a little overboard. This includes anything that I can theorycraft up that I think could give me a leg up in the race. The third and final piece of the puzzle might be the most important of all. I need to be ready, physically and mentally, to grind RuneScape in a way I've never done before in my life. I'm going to have to train my body to survive on little to no sleep, and I'm going to need to make sure that I'm in the best physical condition I can possibly be in. Because I'm not one for half measures, so we're going to go, and we're going to go all the way. Welcome to Phase 1, where it's time to make as much money as we possibly can. All right, Zuck. You know what I realized? This would be a back-to-back, -back, cause last time I went to Zuck, I got a piece. Yeah. So do we get a back-to-back? -back? What do you think? No way. Oh! Oh my God, we do! <laughs> ah, this game's too easy. Instantly rich. <laughs> Not bad. Bit of an easy game, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> ha! What about fire? What the crap was that? Ha! 4K? Wait, they hit 4Ks? No way. Sag, I tanked it! Oh my god! All I'm saying is Omen would never. Okay, that was a... Oh my god, please. Wait, wait, okay, chat. I need to preface this really quick. I don't have a full bow yet. 1100 Zamorak kills. I've got a bookstore. I have a good feeling with this. This could be a bow. I just like feel like this is a bow. Ready? Three, two, actually turn off the grim. Bow. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Sorry, just gonna clean the glasses. Just make sure. Okay, uh, what's that again? Oh, it's nothing. I feel as though I kind of scammed you guys a little bit. And you guys might think like, no, Ryan, you didn't scam us. What do you mean? But I feel as though I deprived you all of a melee hard mode Zuck run. <laughs> I'm going to load back up this stupid preset <laughs> and we're going back. <laughs> Go. Got it. Pug. Okay. First challenge done. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, can I even attack the thing? <laughs> Ah, this is so bad. Wait, I killed it. <laughs> Run. Defensives. This is so stupid. Ha! Run! Fester! Okay. So I put this on, right? So you're telling me I should Chaos Roar? Easy K? Bleed? Bleed? Bleed again? Reflect. Okay, he lives. Luck ring on. What do you got for me, hard mode, Zach? <laughs> okay, I am just shocked that we did a flawless hard mode, Zach, in full melee. I got 80 mil in the chest. That counts for the total. I'm claiming that right now, and I want you guys to know, that's like finding a $10 bill in the couch. All right? Oh, I'm so leggy. I'm actually leggy. I'm just getting stunned, I think. But yeah, of all the elite dungeons, would you guys say ED1's the hardest one? 
I feel like it's kind of like the stuns are kind of annoying and Masuda's kind of annoying, but I don't think any individual boss is harder than Ambi. Was I really on 13 HP there? <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> That's why you bonfire. I'm not bonfired. That's <laughs> That's why you don't need to bonfire is what I meant to say. Easily. Uh, what I get? It's 64 skills. Wait, I'm actually making bank. ED1 is awesome. I didn't even know we could go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I, just got, I just got drive by and by a smoke. <laughs> Wait, it's kept you. <laughs> what? Dude, look at my familiar. Just having a blast killing the wrong thing. Hold, I'm gonna change it right now to attack same target. That's crazy. What? What do you mean? If I get a book, everyone has to prime sub right now. If I get a bow piece, the only thing you get is not having to prime sub right now. In three, in two, please. <laughs> Bro, how is this even possible? Have you actually only made 40 mil today? Yes, but that's okay. That's what the cat's for. The cat makes it all better. <laughs> Wait, that was so cute. Yeah, 6.30, that feels like a great kill time. And a great time for some green sparkle. No. Wait, yes! This is keeps, by the way. We're doing keeps. Which means I am going to get my 24th codex. And then I'm going to drop it on the freaking floor. <laughs> all right. In three, in two, in one. I can't slam that hand. I can't sl Wait, hold. Move this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What, next one? Be three seeds next? I'm crying in the club right now. Are you kidding me? There's no shot. I am 90 kills dry. There's no way. There's actually no way. Okay, well, the good news is there aren't any more possible seeds to get. So, I guess we continue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I will say this though right now. If I get a reprisal, so I get cursed by another book, I am ending stream. <laughs> For f dude, are you kidding me? There's no way. There's actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I called it. I, I literally, why do I speak? Why do I talk? Why do I use words? Why do I, what, I, I just, I just, why did I, 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 I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. How are the hands doing? Doing stuff like this, they're great. Cause I don't have to do anything for this. It's, it's quite nice. Oh, I'm dying though. Wait, hold. Oh, my blood reaver died. Oops. Did I win? Any staff piecer? Yes, dude! Wait, I'm actually rich! I am actually rich! Oh, this is such a huge day! What a gargantuan day! <laughs> Grinding for GP has never been my favorite thing in RuneScape, but after a solid month, I had a 10 billion GP coin pouch, which is a pretty good start. But in the end, that's all it really is, a start. And I know I'm gonna need a whole lot more money than that. I'd like to very briefly introduce you to the first problem that we ran into in phase one which is my hands and my wrists. For the last several months, I've had a ton of pain in my hands, wrists, elbows, the whole shebang on both sides. And I've been in the process of rehabbing a very serious injury on both sides. It was caused by a mix of terrible genetics and a lot of playing RuneScape manually and using my computer. And the combination of both was not so good. I've been seeing a sports medicine doctor as well as two separate physiotherapists. And I've been going in very frequently, upwards of three times a week for the last month, month and a half. And because of that, well, it hurts a lot to play RuneScape, and I just can't really play manually. So the PVMing that I would normally do wasn't really in the cards. You'll notice in the last clips from the last part of the video we watched, you saw me AFKing hard mode Carapac on Revo. And the reason Revo Ryan made an appearance is because I had no other choice. That was the only way I could play. And although I actually had a ton of fun using Revo, and I'm going to start using it a lot more for a variety of different things, grinding more and more PVMing just wasn't really in the cards because it is really hard to use a mouse and a keyboard when you're wearing one of these things on both hands. 
So because of this, I think we need a little extra juice. And the best way to get that is going to be Stable Client. Stable Client is the Iron Man I use for the solo Iron Man series. This series ended about a year, a year and a half ago. And since the end of that series, I have not logged into the account a single time. It has an extremely valuable bank of upwards of 10 billion GP, including a ton of different Telos drops, multiple Saren God Bows, and a fractured Staff of Armadol. Because I pressed no on a toggle four years ago when I first made the account, it is stuck as an Iron Man, and I will never be allowed to de-iron it under any circumstance. And first off, that's kind of dumb. But second off, because of this, I've got this useless account, and it has a lot of sentimental value, but to me, sentimental value is the past and necromancy and this content release is the future. And if I've got to choose between the past sentiment and the future, I'm going to take the future any day of the week because that's what's going to help me moving forward. So because of that, I made the difficult decision to clear the account. Not entirely. I left about a billion GP on there in terms of supplies. And if I ever want to revisit it, it will be rebuildable, but it no longer has the best in slot gear. And I now have 20 billion coins. So. To end off phase one, I want to say goodbye to Stable Client. You were a good account and you served me well. The theory crafting phase took months, but this is sort of where I ended up. My leveling plan is on screen, and these are the souls that I've collected for my player on Slayer Dungeon. You might have a question like, why this soul or why that soul? And the honest answer to that is, I just got things that I thought might potentially be useful. I got a lot of souls that I won't concretely need and are not part of my training plan, just in case they end up being part of some meta that I can't possibly wrap my head around. The Necromancy tab is looking really nice, and I really hope that I have every possible thing that I could need. I've been preparing and over-preparing for literally months at this point. Phase three has been the hardest phase of all. Between three physio appointments a week for my hands, a steroid injection in my right forearm, and hours of physio stretches every single day, my hands are about as good as they're gonna get. If they hold up for the race, fantastic. But if they don't, I did everything I possibly could. I'm also working out again, and I finally practiced what I preached and got help for my mental health. So that's been really good too, and I'll give myself a check mark in that box as well. I'm doing pretty well. But can I actually withstand hours upon hours of playing RuneScape at a high level with little to no sleep? That's a question that I still needed answered. The following is an absolutely terrible idea, and it is not something that I would recommend. It should probably go without saying, but here's what we did. I challenged myself to do a 20 hour PVM stream between my hardcore Iron Man and my main account. And then after that 20 hour stream, I allowed myself three hours of sleep. After that three hours of sleep, I would wake up again, get ready, and then on my main, I wanted to do something that I thought would be absolutely awful and a true test of my ability to function my brain properly with almost no sleep. I decided to speedrun a quest cape. Now, you might be thinking, wait, you don't have quest cape? Because a lot of people have that reaction. And to that, I would say, no, I have never had a quest cape and I had an absolute ton of quests to complete. So the idea was this, for day two, I'm going to quest and quest and quest until I don't have any quests left to do. And after 17 hours of straight questing on three hours of sleep, ending with a manual slider puzzle from Dead and Buried, I have my first ever quest cape. This was a nuts amount of quests to do in one sitting, and I feel great about getting it done. But I won't lie, by the end of this stream, I did not feel the best. But I did feel good enough to hit up Raksha and get a greater chain codex, so I guess I wasn't doing so badly. <laughs> After that, I went off for the night to make dinner. The logic behind a stress test like this is experience. Experience is something that I don't have, and I think being able to turn to experience is extremely important. A lot of the people I'll be racing against have raced every skill or many, many skill releases before this point, so they kind of know what they're getting into. They know what it feels like. And I didn't want to go into this not having any frame of reference. So now, Although it's a minor frame of reference, at least I have one experience similar that I can fall back on. So, to summarize, we have an absolute ton of GP. We've done a ton of theory crafting, I have a ton of preparations made, and I have a training plan. And I'm physically and mentally in the best condition that I'm gonna be. So with that said, it's time for Necromancy. The last very important thing I wanna mention is that everything we're doing here is for fun. The only thing I really care about is having a fun, enjoyable, positive experience in content release where we all get to experience necromancy 
together. And I don't want that to be lost in the sweat of the race in the ensuing week, because I know it's gonna be extremely busy. So I'm gonna send you all off by saying, play the way you want to, enjoy yourselves, have fun, and be kind to others who are trying to have the same experience you are. I'll be streaming the race on twitch.tv slash the IRS guy, but I'll also be posting videos almost every single day. So if you're into that kind of thing, don't you worry, I got you covered. And with that said, take care of yourselves. Thank you all so much for watching and happy Necker.